Hey guys, what's good? It is your boy Pookie Year. Right, we have a nice little review here. This is a it's more of a tactical helmet, I would say. I think I'd probably use this more for airsoft and uh, paintball and things like this. It's not a fully safe, fully rated safety helmet, you know, for motorbikes and things like that. It's probably about as useful as a uh, chocolate teapot, to be fair. But it looks badass. I'm probably only going to use this when I'm like on the pump tracks and stuff like that. You know, at the end of the day, if I fall and I do bang my head. It's not going to be too bad, but you know, if I get took out by a car, I'm going to need something a little bit more serious. So, this is based on the, I believe it's a running something tech or tech or something like that. It's a dev, dev tech or dev tech. It's a military helmet. It's for basically what they're using the military for shooting. I think you can get like uh, infrared dis uh, infrared cameras put on top there, and it's like a fucking telescope thing, so you can see in the dark. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I don't know really what much else I can say about the uh, aesthetics fit that, that, you know, except that it's badass. We've got a little fan on the side here. What this does is it will demist the inside of the lenses. It's a bit noisy, you know. That's on full whack. It works if you just turn it down as well, so if you need to demist it, it's probably not too bad. One of the things that it did come with, it came with a extra mouth guard for the front. As you can see, it's got these mountain holes. Each one of these mountain holes on this helmet means that you can basically remove the panel and switch them out, paint them up, change them to however you want. So that's pretty good. There's quite a few different panels on there. There's also a roller there and a roller on the other side of the helmet. What that does is it pulls the mask further out forward or back in, depending on the size of your head. Got the little holes for the fan there. So all in all, it's actually quite a nice, nice design of looking helmet. We did put the instructions for you. I'll just get that in a sec. I'll say you can, if you can see in there properly. Get it up in the light so you can see it a bit. It's got padding in there, but it's obviously, it's not gonna withstand a crash by a car or something like that, but it does look badass. So let's see what other bits and pieces we got in the box. So now we've got everything out of the box, we can actually see what comes with the helmet itself. So it comes with four different style lenses. We've got these wire mesh ones, um, or metal mesh. So if you want to just replace it with that so it can fit the all black look, you can do that. We also have a set of orange lenses, clear lenses, and kind of bluey purple lenses. To be honest, I might fit them into it. I do like the colour of the blue, I must admit. This is the extra mouthpiece that I was telling you about that goes over the front of there. So what you'll end up doing, well, yeah, forget it the right way around. What I'll end up doing is I'll take this plastic plate off and I'll replace it with this metal one. So when I breathe, it's a little bit more open for breath so the lenses don't get steamed up as much for the condensation. I think that looks pretty badass, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, let's uh, get this on and see what it'll look like.